coming up on the HVNN Sports Mashup. Ketchum football debuts its new turf field against crosstown rivals John Jay, while Newburgh was burning up their surface against Kingston. Arlington comes out swinging, and Marlboro has its fill of a night against Highland. In volleyball, spack and kill spikes a message home. The mashup is next. The mashup is brought to you by William A. Smith & Son Insurance. You enjoy the game, we'll worry about the other stuff. Hi everyone, I'm Charlie Carnaccio and welcome to the HVNN Sports Mashup where we combine our video highlights for you to consume in a quick 10 minute presentation. So it's a new season, a lot of new faces, and some facilities that have received a facelift as well. Let's start here. The Ketchum Indians were like the ugly stepchild in the Wappinger Central School District. Not their words, mine, but think about it. For years, Jay had lights, Ketchum had nothing. Jay got a new track installed, Ketchum got nothing. Even the Ketchum scoreboard didn't work right. You couldn't tell what the score was, but all that changed this past summer when the ugly stepchild received a full makeover and turned into a gorgeous complex with new turf, lights, and a brand new press box. So, who does Ketchum get to show it off to first? You guessed it, their arch rivals, John Jay. switch it over to section 9 because the Newburgh Goldbacks jumped into the new season with both feet and then some. Hosting Kingston in a league game, Newburgh went to the well early and often. And what a start it is for the Goldbacks as Cherry and Hanson runs this one all the way back for a touchdown and the Goldbacks take the lead early. Later in the first quarter, it's Chapman Parker finding Manny Wilson, and he goes all the way to the end zone. And the Tigers get on the board. The next drive, Vernon Smith into the end zone for the Goldbacks, now up 21 to six. Jaden Monroe goes up the middle, and he scores for a touchdown. Staying in section nine for a moment, the black and blue bowl between Marlboro and Highland, always a good one. And this was a good one for about the first six minutes. Then it got very bad for one team. 
early highlights for Highland as Julian Melt heaves a 58-yarder to Max Vidal, and the Huskies are in striking distance. From there, Melt calls his own number and threads the needle for the first score of the game. But talk about threading. Phil DeSantis must have had a tailor in his family. Watch how he rolls. And just that quick, we're tied at six in the first. And this looked to be a battle of the running game. Check out Meltz from the 49 as he zigs and zags his way in for the score thanks to some good downfield blocking. But there was no stopping DeSantis on this day. Phil has wide open space and follows his blockers into the end zone. The extra point made it 13-12 Marlboro. And the Iron Dukes never looked back. Sam Mongelli. Locks and loads with a perfectly led pass to John Perugino. And Perugino makes a great catch with Jason Keller on his back. A 40-yarder makes it 20-12 for the visitors. In the second, DeSantis with his third TD of the night on the dive play. And look at this. DeSantis and Mongelli are like Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy in trading places. A perfect strike. Mongelli, untouched sophomore Christian Diorio, gives us a glimpse of the future of the Iron Dukes. As Marlboro easily captures the black and blue trophy, your final on the William A. Smith & Son scoreboard, 54-12 Marlboro. Back in section one, the Arlington Admirals started the new season with questions. Not as many questions as when they started last season with just one returning starter. That was big bad Jordan Valerius. But this year's big question was, do they still have some of that lightning in the bottle from last season's perfect 8-0 record prior to the playoffs? Everyone charged up for the new season. New unis and a new razor for head coach Mike Morano. Clean shaven to start the season. Let's see how thick his beard gets this year. First up, a non-league game against Porchester and the Arlington defense looks stifling. On offense, Arlington tried to make something happen before the first quarter ended and that's when junior quarterback Xavier Powell puts the ball in the hands of Ricardo Yolis. He breaks it to the outside for a 22-yard TD run. It's 7-0 Admirals. And let the beard growing begin. Second quarter. And check out the balance moves by EJ Escato. Whoa! He zigs and zags his way right into your iPhone. It's 14-0 Arlington in the second. So this was not what it seemed, but we had to show it to you anyway. As time's winding down, Keyshawn Ellis gets the pump off and check out the speed and field vision of Lumazone. Off the bounce, he finds a crease and he's off. Unfortunately, this one was called back because of a push but hey, Lou, if you want to show this to your kids when you get older, we won't say anything. Arlington gets the season opening win. Your final on the William A. Smith & Son scoreboard, 33-14, Arlington. In volleyball, the Spack and Kill girls were showing their skills and letting everyone know that the team is back with almost the entire starting lineup. Hosting Ellenville, Spack and Kill dazzled and amazed as they ran the table on this night in the season opener. Ellenville and the Road Blues and coming in with some size across the board. Spack and Kill has Nene Share, and that is a share bet. Spartans were down but came back and took a 5-4 lead and then never looked back in game one. Bailey Abelos aces one here. Here's game point, Maya K. Johnson with the serve. And Kiara Cherry and Julianne McKee with the give and go. Cherry puts it away for a 25-14 win. It's back and kill, rattles off seven in a row for a 25-16 win in game two. Nini Cher had 11 kills. 
Bastard's Back and Kill sweeps Ellenville. Your final on the William A. Smith & Son Insurance scoreboard is Back and Kill 3, Ellenville nothing. The Spack and Gill boys soccer team has plenty of questions to answer. They may not find it in the school's math department because in preseason scrimmages and the first preseason tournament, Spack and Kill's numbers just didn't add up. So maybe since then, they took a trip to the school's chemistry department because they certainly seem to have found the winning formula there. It was bring your dog to the game day at Spack and Kill as the Spartans hosted league foe Ellenville. This infraction set up a spack and kill gimme. As Andrew Marrera puts the biscuit in the basket for a 2-0 lead. And just before the end of the first half, Demetrius Marukas slips one through. His second goal of the game, spack and kill led 3-0 at halftime and go on to win it. Your final on the William A. Smith & Son Insurance scoreboard, 4-0 spack and kill. So that's all the time we have for this edition of The Mashup. Be sure to keep your eyes on the lookout for our one-on-one -on -one interview show where we'll be talking to some of the area's best players and coaches across all sports. For the entire crew here at HVNN Sports, I'm Charlie Carnaccio. We'll see you next week.